The Lagos state government is set to partner with Israel in using modern technology to combat the perennial flooding in the state. Yes, indeed. Governor Kilmi Amode gave the assurance at a water technology and environmental control sensitization workshop on Monday. Uh, correspondent Adidoja Salam Adini was there. The Water Technology and Environmental Control Workshop coincides with the recent flash floods witnessed in some parts of Lagos. Environmentalists from Nigeria and beyond are eager to know what Lagos is doing to find a lasting solution to the flood menace. You can Commissioner for Waterfront Infrastructure Development, Adi Adesoya, said the torrential rains witnessed in the state in the past few days measured 477 millimeters, which equals rains experienced in other cities for six months. For Governor Body, this situation called for re-engineering of the drainage system in the state. What we should immediately pursue is a holistic solution to what is certain to be a recurring problem. It must be a sincere collaboration between government and its citizens. Here then lies the input of today's gathering. Israel, which Lagos State has decided to partner with in developing water technology and environmental control, is one of the first countries to successfully overcome its limitations in water resources. Our intention is to explore a wide area of technological advancements and possibilities to ensure that we obtain the best solution to a rather nagging problem. We will reinvigorate our campaign against the dumping of refuse by citizens into canals. We will be stronger in enforcing our fiscal planning laws, especially those building illegally on canals and blocking the free flow of water across the state. On his part, Israeli ambassador to Nigeria, Guy Feldman, said his country was delighted to partner with Lagos to find lasting solutions to water management and environmental control. Uh, I don't think we have a solution for everything, but we might have a lot of ideas. <laughs> Uh, with the uh, with the ability and uh, government of, of the state of Lagos going to Israel, picking up exactly the issues they want to deal with and the innovation. Sometimes, as I told you, it's not so hard. Sometimes it's very simple. So we are going to work with that hand in hand with with not, by the way, only only Lagos state. We're trying to do it with all countries around the world, specifically in Nigeria. But uh, this mission going to Israel will come out, come back. I think with a basket full of innovation and ideas that can be fully implemented here. Lagos is expected to participate in the WATEC exhibition in September and take full advantage of state of the art technology in Israel with an eyesore on applying the same solution in the state. Adidoja, Salam Adini, TVC News, Lagos. Yes, uh, those visuals showing you what uh, Lagos. Ireland especially looked like over the weekend, weekend when the heavens poured down mm. relentlessly. Well, we have uh, with us in the studio the Lagos State Commissioner uh, for the Environment, Dr. Babatunde Adejari. Good morning, Good morning and thanks you, Commissioner. Uh, for Ladies. joining us on the show. We'll come to the, this collaboration uh, between Lagos State and Israel much later in our discussion. But every year, state governments, including Lagos, tells us that uh, the, the problem of flooding will become a thing of the past, that everything is being done to, you know, achieve that. What exactly is the problem with Lagos State um, and flooding? Well, thank you so much. Um, the problem is a global one. It's not mm. peculiar to Lagos State. But we have a peculiar one with us because of our location. Mm. Lagos is a coastal area. Most of Lagos is under the below the sea level. So therefore, and with this you know, um, climate change going on, we, 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 are, we, are, we are sure to be affected. And that is what you, what you saw on Saturday. Saturday was more of a natural thing than our usual problems we have with ourselves and the way we behave. See, when the tide rises out there in the ocean, it translates to the lagoon. And when it's high, it's, it's, it becomes higher than our hard force. So therefore, it will lock up all our hard force. It will not allow water to go from the land onto the lagoon. Yes, but, but apart you, from the so force of nature, went, apart from the force of nature, many have criticized the dredging and reclamation activities that have gone on in different parts 
of Lagos, whether you're talking about Ikurudu, uh, Ekpe, Aja, Axis, and that may be further complicating the issue. Yeah, that, that's for sure. But you see, the state government is trying to work with NEWA, um, the Nigeria Waterways Authority. Okay. They, you know, we see that most of those people doing this dredging are given, are given, um, they have been certified to do it by NEWA. And as such, when we go after them, they will show you that they've been given permission to do it on our waters. Um, and, you know, there was a court ruling of recent that says, yes, those um, permission granted by NEWA, uh, it was uh, their the right. And so, therefore, we are looking at a way of working with them and let everybody know that this cannot go on the way it's going on. Or else we will put Lagos uh, at risk more than, more, more than what we are even seeing. Mm. Well, so, so we are talking to them. Okay. We are making sure that things are done according to best practices. Some environment experts um, uh, also blamed the Eco Atlantic project for this cause as well. Uh, so what is your own take? Give us the defense from the side of the government now. Um, even many people spoke about it online, especially over the weekend when the flooding started, that um, that was one of the causes. I don't want us to start jumping to conclusions. Okay. I grew up in this city. That Amadou Bello way has always been there, even when I was a toddler. And when we go for this picnic, they drop you at that road, you will run, 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 before you, you meet the beachfront. So over the years, as I was growing, the beach was receding. And it came on to almost Amadou Bello Way. All the licensing offices there were deserted. Until that, Eko and Tlaki City came up. And that, they reclaimed what we lost. It's not a new thing. And as a result, if you, even this last weekend, the, 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 the flooding did not get to Upper Amadou Bello Way towards a hotel. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that uh, city, Atlant Eco Atlantic City, has really, has really helped us to secure that fish front okay. again. Mm -hmm. It won't be the, I don't think it's a problem. Right. There are indications that uh, it's possible the master plan of Lagos has somehow been compromised because of indiscriminate building of, of structures mm -hmm. and not just uh, by private people, by local people in the state now. Uh, you see multi-million naira, multi-billion naira structures on illegal uh, pathways in the state and yet nothing is done. <coughs> Thank you so much. Uh, much it's been done much, we still continue to uh, uh, what we would do. So it's true? It's true. Okay. It's, it's true. Mm. It's, all, it's there. I went out, I was caught up in the, in the, in the flooding issue on Saturday. I was out there. And um, I've transversed all those communities around Leki. If you are going on that Leki mm -hmm. Expressway to the right, it caught all of them. I had been with them. And you see, we saw a lot of contraventions on our channel uh, ways. We, 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 we see that everybody are just taking the laws into their hands and um, they are building with reckless abandon. And um, it's something we have told them that we are coming after those things. We are going but to those people will say they them. are given licenses to actually put up these no, structures. Who gives them the no. licenses or the, the, the building that's permits? That's the pity of it because hmm. They never, they never even procure any building approval. They don't have. A lot of people out there, especially on, the, on that side, they have been building without approvals. So is the government ready to step on, on toes and very ready. maintain the master plan? Very ready. We regardless will. who is regardless involved. Regardless who is, who is involved. Because we cannot be jeopardizing people's lives because of your own mistake. Conscious mistake. You did it knowingly. You, everybody knows you have to obtain approval, build an approval before you build. And I've always said it everywhere I go, look, it's not a decoration. It's just to tell you, those approval, if you seek for it, the government will tell you whether you can build there or not. Mm -hmm. And what you can do to build there, even if you have to build there, and we say, okay, you can build there. And they will give you um, suggestions as to what you should do before you build. Everybody just go there and start building. Okay, so beyond the uh, indiscriminate uh, 
erecting of structures along canals or pathways of uh, uh, water. I, I recall in, in the course of your monitoring what happened over the weekend, you, you mentioned the problem of people, you know, discharging their waste, uh, disposing their, their refuse yes. anyhow. How do you expect people really to dispose of their refuse properly when, uh, you know, if you, if you went around Lagos, for example, it's difficult to find uh, those refuse bins around everywhere. No, thank you so much for bringing this up. It's excellent the governor of Lagos State that just come up with an initiative called Cleaner Lagos Initiative. Mm -hmm. It's a way to reform our solid waste management. See, what we've been doing till now is not best practices so far. We know it's done better in other climbs. Mm -hmm. And then um, what he certainly has done is that he studied our own um, system and I found out that we need to do two things majorly. Okay. Infuse more funds into that system and bring technology to play in it. The two we, have, we are doing with Cleaner Lagos Initiative. Is that right, where Israel is coming in? with this No, no, no. That's the another... Technology. They might that's come in later, okay. but we have that initiative on ground. We should start fully All right. first week in September. In oh. that time, mm -hmm. there won't be any need for anybody to go and dump again because we will provide adequate services of taking your waste from you. We will continue to advocate and teach people how to package their waste so that they can just pick it rightly. We, we, we continue to tell them to bag this waste. Put it in front of us. People will come. We are coming, the, the, the concessionaire, they are coming with brand new compactors, 550 of them to start with. Over five years, we hope to take them above 1,000, going to 2,000 um, um, of them. And all these ones, they will be electrically tracked. I can sit in the mon uh, monitoring room of my ministry and tell you at every point in time which part of Lagos has not been visited by a compactor. I can also say that. Everywhere in Lagos, we are going to put, we know where we are going to put litter bins in Lagos. We are going to bring 900,000 of them, and they will be electronically uh, tracked too. You know what used to happen is that government will bring these litter bins. In a few weeks, they have disappeared. But this one, if you touch our litter bin, we'll come after me because we'll trace you to wherever you take it to. So that will discourage people from taking it. As we speak, we have the mapping of where we put those litter bins mm. in every street on La in Lagos. We are going to deploy massively those litter bins. We are going to uh, bring about employing 27,500 sanitation workers. We call them community sanitation workers. The 27,500 people employing them at this time is a huge um, em uh, empowerment so for us. So the Wole are coming back? Not Wole Wole as such. Okay, Wole Wole is, is, is another thing entirely. This bin. one's mm. are you know, community sanitation. Why? Well, because of time commissioner. Be free. Free. Will the yeah. bins be free? They will be free. Okay. Because they'll ah. be in public places. Yes. All right. So that, be because free. of time uh, commissioner, mm. uh, of, another problem with Lagos is that uh, many areas are, uh, do not have uh, the proper drainage system. And that is why once it drizzles, uh, almost everywhere is flooded. So is that where Israel is coming in now? Uh, part of that. Well, you know, Israel, we're looking to work with Israel, most especially in terms of using technology to, to guide our drainage system. That is what we call early warning system, flood early warning system. We want to put that in place in Lagos. Mm -hmm. We've been talking with some people, but Israel is now in the picture. We will work with them. See, Lagos as it is, we have the best complex and the best um, um, drainages um, around. We have huge number In some of areas? Huh? In some areas? Not all areas. You can't... You see, in when, Niger, I, when you for talk... For example... When you uh, talk... Some areas, see, rest of it, when you no talk... No at all. When, when you talk about Lagos... Yes. I say it's small but mighty. Absolutely. Lagos is small and we mighty. We do agree with that. You yeah. understand? Mm -hmm. When you... It's a, it's a place that has population of 23 million. Huh? The population density in this place is among the highest in the world. We know that to go all over the place we take t we, we need time. But what I'm saying is that the big, big ones that will take most of this water onto the lagoon are in place. 
We have about 202 of them okay. that is well maintained all the time. That we try and maintain them over and over. We, work, we have what we call pre rain um, uh, maintenance. We have during the rain, we have after the rain. We all right, do. let's hope by yeah, this time yeah, next year you'll have a positive scorecard to uh, share with us. Thank I don't know if coming. I could use this opportunity. The dump site at Ojota there. Yes. What exactly is happening with that place? With, what is the plan? We see a lie. Very briefly. We see a lie. We are shutting the place in the, in the next 24 to 30 months. Okay. We are building now in Lagos. In, in about that time, we will not have any dump sites again in Lagos. We will have what we call engineer uh, landfill sites. We have started building, and that will take over. This dump, dump site. site. All right, we don't like you. this dump site. Thank you very much, Commissioner, and for okay. the environment, Babatunde, and so for clearing some things up for us and, of course, telling us about the plans of the government yes. uh, to tackle flooding perennial as it is right now in this state. Thank, thank you so much. Thank uh, you uh, we're, we're expecting to speak with an environmentalist who will give us another, uh, the other side, side of, of, of mm -hmm. all of this. Uh, wonder if he's on the line already.